Hi, welcome back to our channel and back to the tutorial for machine learning. Today we're going to see the topic called that is categories of data in machine learning. It's the introduction part. So here to know the categories of data. Any you know, doubt, please kindly come on in the comment box and kindly check the playlist if you want continuous of the video classes. So here data, general data can be categorized into four types here. One is called numerical data, another categorical data, and one more called time series data and text data. There are four types there, remember. So data is nothing but you can say information only. I'm seeing the point option is here. So first one is called a numerical data. These are this what is numerical data? These are nothing but a data, any data where data points are exact numbers here. Uh, moreover, they're saying this may be called numerical data or it may be a quantitative data. And also the data has meaning as measurement here. Let's say the example, you can get clarity here. So moreover, the numerical data we can divide into two things. One is called continuous, one called discrete. So continuous, you can say height, weight, salary, of the employee like that, temperature, and so on. Then we can say discrete, you can say number of language sp spoken, number of students, and so on. Let's say example here. First one, continuous data. We can say continuous data numbers that can fall anywhere within a range, remember. And also like a student could have an average score of 88.25, which falls between 0 and 100. This is the best example for continuous data. And discrete, the number of students taking Python class would be a discrete data set here. So this is the information about the numerical data. You can easily understand, remember, in the upcoming session, we are going to say about some algorithm and concept where we need uh, needed to have idea about this data. Types of categories of data here, the category data. Here it always represents the characteristics that such as the hockey player position team hometown you can say example and also it can take numerical values for example maybe it would be used one for the color red and two for the blue this is just representation only so in contact super color situation category data is important week but it, it may be a it would be the class label and also it also be something like if a person is a man or woman or properties residential or commercial so many cases we can uh, we can check out this category data. We can apply the category data applicable, especially when you go for classification concept. We already discussed what is classification recursion and what are the algorithms required for that also. Then time series data. Here, the time series you can say it's a sequence of numbers collected at regular intervals over some speed of time only. That means some timestamp is there. And also it's also important, especially in particular fields like finance also. Moreover, it has a temporal value attached to it. So it would be a something like a date or timestamp. An example, what you can say example for time series, measure the average number of home sales for many years. Let it be a representation here. So look this here. So if you want to finance sector, you can more or if you go finance sector, there will be data. The data, all, most of the data come under the time series data. Even uh, not only this one, 10 years moving average like this uh, graph showing here. Or as a loan amount, five years, how much you're going to pay loan amount. You can predict and uh, whatever there you can do it here at last text here this type of data is there where you know the words is there or is there, it has textual data composed of multiple words occurring such that they make sense as a whole more way here that text can be converted into numerical representation using many different techniques so so many things in the text data data we check it out i hope that you understand about the categories of data like uh, numerical categorical time series data at last next if you have any course uh, Queries or suggestions, please kindly communicate with the social media. And uh, when you like the video, please subscribe and share with the best. Thank you.